The construction of Victoria's suburban rail loop will be shelved in $34. 5 billion will instead be put into fixing the state's struggling health system if the coalition is elected in November. Opposition leader Matthew Guy has vowed to dump the transport project, which began in June and is not set to be finished until 2025, and is the most expensive project in the state's history. Guy has said he would instead put every single cent of the $34. 5 billion dedicated to the project into fixing the state's health system if he is elected in 100 days' time. What would you prefer the Victorian government spend the $34.5 billion on? The Suburban Rail Loop 916 Fixing Victoria's Health Care System 2876 Read more, thief caught on camera pickpocketing elderly man at Melbourne RSL Club We will rebuild our crumbling health system by constructing or upgrading hospitals across Victoria, he said via statement. Our plan is about returning confidence for Victorians. Confidence that an ambulance will arrive, an emergency call will be answered and critical health care will be available when needed. Guy's announcement comes after months of reports the state's health system is overwhelmed, with about 87,000 people awaiting elective surgery and ongoing ambulance ramping. The suburban rail loop would establish a new train line that encircles Melbourne CBD from Cheltenham to Werribee, providing a direct line between Melbourne's outer suburbs and Melbourne Airport. Read more, Coles to strip shelves of everyday item A state government has responded to Guy's proposal by saying the plan would cut the 24,000 jobs being created by the construction of the train line. Victorians voted for this project, that will create thousands of jobs, Suburban Rail Loop and Transport Infrastructure Minister Jacinta Allen has said via statement. The government statement has said Guy would be walking away from the transport connections offered by the project as well as the jobs it offers and the wages that support families, 